Good evening, my friends. I hope all of you are having an awesome, fantastic day. I am here at Disney's Hollywood Studios for two different reasons. Number one, it's pretty empty. I looked on the My Disney Experience app. Right now, Tower of Terror is 15 minutes. Second, we have a Hollywood and Vine dining reservation. I wanted to get over here for Halloween and Christmas because the characters were in their cute holiday themed outfits. Today, it's movie themed. So I'm excited about that. I'll be hanging out with a few friends, give you guys somewhat of a park update while we're inside. I hope you guys are ready because I am. Let's go do this. And before we head inside of the park, I wanted to show you guys a quick update on prices. Not much has changed, but you can now pay for park hopping. It's almost 5.30 in the evening. The park closes at 7 p.m. tonight. I want to stop inside Mickey's of Hollywood to see if they have the new AP Minnie Mouse ears and also the new AP hat. Disney has brand new Black Panther face coverings. Check this out. This is a really big deal for the U.S. parks because this is very popular in Japan and it's now here at Disney World and I believe Disneyland. But you get these little plushes here. As we see, they have Mickey, Minnie, Donald, and Daisy. You can dress them up. Here's like a few examples. Look at this one. These are really neat. How much are they? $17.99 for the plush. And for one of the outfits, $12.99. They also have Stitch, and I believe her name is Angel. I'm going to look across the street just to be safe. No luck in here either, but I did find the brand new Valentine's Day Minnie Mouse ears. Look at those, very nice. It's definitely not empty, but the crowds are a lot lower than what they would be during the day. One last stop to try to find these ears in the hat. Oh wow, check this out. It looks like they have some of the Run Disney merch in here. Look at this spirit jersey. I like it a lot. They have leggings, socks, a Christmas ornament. Good news, I found the hat in here. This is the new AP exclusive hat for $27.99. Well, I'm glad I found the hat, but the ears, the cast member did tell me, they have been sold out all week. It looks like the Tower of Terror is no longer a 15 minute wait. It is now a 30 minute wait. And I have probably about 20-ish minutes to spare before dinner, but I just looked Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, 15 minutes. So let's head that way. Holy cow, there's no line outside. It still says 15 minutes to ride. Only waited nine minutes and 13 seconds. About 10 minutes to ride Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Not bad at all. I think I talked about this the last time we rode it, but I'm not a fan of the plexiglass, and I think that's because how tall I am, so that does bother me a little bit, and they are now seating every row on this ride. Another thing I noticed, well, number one, I tried to follow Pluto along for that ride because I learned the last time I rode it that Pluto follows you throughout the entire ride, so that's pretty cool. The last scene, before Goofy shuts the doors to the train, his hands make a few hidden Mickeys. I learn something new every time I ride this ride. But now I am heading to Hollywood and Vine for dinner. Here we are at Hollywood and Vine. We just checked in on the My Disney Experience app. And like I said right now, this is Minnie's, Silver Screen, and Dine. Before the pandemic, this restaurant used to be a full character 
dining buffet experience, but now it's a family style dinner. For adults, you're looking at 55, and guests ages three through nine, 36. So it is still pretty expensive. We made it inside of the restaurant. It is very different. Disney has definitely spread the tables to maintain a safe distance. I'm here with Brian and Dan. We got a really good table, but look at the buffet. You can no longer walk up. Now the servers will get your food and bring it to you like I had mentioned earlier. The menu is still digital. If you guys wanna pull it up, here you go. I was a little off with this restaurant, so the salad is family style, but this restaurant is pretty much like Crystal Palace, where you choose your entree, and your dessert is also family style. Mickey and Minnie just came out, but if you need a plant-based option, this restaurant has you covered. I'm just going to run through the menu really quick. Your choice of entrees include garlic and cracked black pepper prime rib of beef, macaroni and cheese with shrimp, salmon, roasted turkey breast, pork, or a plant-based something with mushrooms. And then you have your choice of dessert. Looks like a apple blueberry pie, chocolate s'mores pie, a plant-based cherry lemon pie, banana cream pie, and a vanilla creme brulee. To start out with, you have fresh buttered rolls and a fresh salad. We now have Mickey looking sharp. We are doing a celebration. Good job, Mickey. I see you. Oh my goodness. The food came out very quick. And look at this. I went with the roasted turkey dish. You have turkey, turkey gravy, mashed potatoes, stuffing, a cranberry sauce, and green beans. Dan, he went with the prime rib. That looks really good. And Brian, he got the same thing as me. Here comes Pluto, looking snazzy. It is now dessert time. I went with the creme brulee. I also got a coffee. They also brought me out a birthday cupcake. Dan got the s'mores pie. And Brian, he got the banana cream pie. That's one of my favorite colors, maroon. As we are getting ready to leave, our server gave us one of these, a souvenir to take home with you with the character's autograph. We are leaving the restaurant now, but I'm very impressed. I love how Disney spread out all of the tables so you're not on top of each other. And then over here, they have added plexiglass by the tables to keep everybody safe. All right, we just finished our dinner here at Hollywood and Vine. I wanna give you guys my overall thoughts about the place. I actually really enjoyed myself the food came out very quick, which was nice. Great service. Um, the characters were there. They were fun. We still got somewhat of a picture with the characters, so keep that in mind. But the food was excellent. My roasted turkey dish was actually really dang tasty. Like, I enjoyed that whole dish. Dan and Brian both enjoyed theirs. Dessert was wonderful. I would go back there. I do recommend this place. I give it a good, let's say eight and a half out of 10. But the only negative thing I will say, I don't understand or I don't agree with the pricing here. $55 for adults. That's a lot. When Crystal Palace, I think was 30 something. Yeah, you know, they don't have characters. Chef Mickey's was 40 with characters. Now I know this was dinner. So of course the price does increase when you go to dinner here at Disney, but I just feel like it was not worth $55, but they did accept tables in Wonderland. The park did close about 35 minutes ago, and there's not a lot of people left in the park besides some kids running, but you don't see this too often. All right, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and let you guys go. I know this was a shorter video, but we had a lot of fun. I was able to find one of the two things I was looking for. I found the AP hat. We rode Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which was pretty much a walk on. And we had a successful dinner at Hollywood and Vine. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. This video is sponsored by Mickey Travels. If you're looking to book your next Disney vacation, go get your free quote today from mickeytravels.com as they never charge you anything to book your next Disney vacation. And they are one of the select few travel agencies in the world that are platinum earmarked by Disney themselves. Go visit my friends down in the description and click on the link for your next Disney vacation. 
If you enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up as it really does help out the channel in so many different ways. And if you're new here, please subscribe because we do this quite often and make sure you have those notifications turned on and set to always. That way you will always be notified when I release a new video or even go live. Also, make sure you're following along on Instagram. I love you guys. Please remember, it's nice to be nice in YouTube. I'll see you in the next video. Prince Charming, out. I am feeling lonely in a room and it's time to end the ride. Fading it too slowly Were those gonna lift me up this time? You were the only One who got me tripping up inside All the words you told me